Instant voice cloning with AI is nothing less than magic. With the help of this new model Open Voice, all you do is provide a short audio clip and some text. This model converts that text into audio as per your voice. So for example, you want to speak something in French, Korean, Japanese other than English, you can use Open Voice to convert any text into those languages. In this video, we'll be installing Open Voice's version 2, which is way better than version 1, more speedy and more versatile. Before I show you the installation locally, let me give you a bit more overview of this Open Voice. Open Voice is a versatile instant voice cloning approach that requires only a short audio clip from the reference speaker to replicate their voice and generate speech in multiple languages. Open Voice enables granular control over voice styles including emotion, accent, rhythm, pauses and intonation in addition to replicating the tone color of the reference speaker. Open Voice also achieves zero-shot cross-lingual voice cloning for languages not included in the massive speaker training set. Open Voice is also computationally efficient, costing tens of times less than commercially available APIs that offer even inferior performance. There are a lot of other advant advantages of Open Voice, such as you can have flexible voice style control, you can even do cross lingual voice cloning, and then you can also speak in various languages, including British English, American English, Indian English, Australian English, Spanish, French, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. And that list is growing as the days are passing because this is a very, very active project. And already it's been used by hundreds of thousands of people across the globe. The best thing is that it is open source. The license is MIT license. Okay, enough theory. Let me take you to my local system where I am going to show you how you can get it locally installed. I will be using Ubuntu 22.04. I am using 1 GP of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. And you should have some 20 to 30 GB space on your disk because you might be using audio samples and you will be downloading the checkpoints of this model. Let me clear my screen. One thing I would highly suggest that to install is Anaconda. I already have it installed. If you don't know how to install it, then please check out my channel. I have done few videos around it. So you can see that I have this Conda version 24.1.2 installed. Let me clear the screen. And the reason why I'm using Conda is to keep everything separate from the rest of my uh, operating system configuration. So let's create a Conda environment. And this open voice needs Python 3.9. So you can see that I am creating this environment with Python 3.9. Just simply type Y for yes. And it is going to install all the prerequisites in your new environment. So let's wait for it to finish. That is done. Let's activate open voice. And you can see that it is now activated in the parenthesis. Let's get clone this repo which i just showed you and you can just say yes here okay so it seems that i would need to be logged in there it seems so let me log in or you can simply try this command first git clone and then simple url instead of that git clone and this time it worked okay let's clear the screen and we can just do the ls ltr to see you see that it has created his open voice folder let's clear the screen and these are all the stuff which is present in this directory and now here just do pip install dash e dot so that we would install all the prerequisites on our local system from this repo let's wait for it to finish 
took around 5 to 6 minutes to install everything and it is now done. Let's clear the screen and let's do ls-ltr again here. Now here, just let me first show you this open voice directory. If you check this directory, you will see that there are some models.py and all that stuff. So make sure that these files are there. Let's go back. Let's clear the screen. And now here, let's create a new directory called as checkpoint underscore v2. Make directory checkpoints underscore v2. Let's cd to that directory. And here you can use wget command to download this zip file. This zip file contains all the weights of the model and we will um, weights and checkpoints of the model. So we are going to download it and then we will unzip it in the same directory. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. It's not that big. If that is done, let's quickly do ls to check. So there you go. And now it's simply do unzip here and it is going to Okay, so unzip is not there, so we need to install unzip. And that should be fairly quick. Okay, let's clear the screen. Unzip again, and that is done. Okay, good. Let's clear the screen in ls quickly. So we have that checkpoint v2 folder here. So maybe we will move this folder from here to the uh, root of the directory. So let me do that. And I'm just using the move command here. So we have moved the folder to the root directory as you can see to home open to open voice. And now it's time to install Melo TTS. Melo TTS is a high quality multilingual text to speech library by myshell.ai which supports languages including English, in different dialects and then Spanish, French and which is their examples. So in this one, we are going to use the models in Melo TTS as the base speaker. So let's install it. And it is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait for it to finish. Melo TTS has finished installing. Let me clear my screen and that took around four to five minutes. And then just use this Unidic download with the python and it is going to take a bit of a time again because just it is 526 mag let's wait for it to be done so up to this point the installation is finished now it's all about usage now in order to use it you can either use their resources which are provided with this or you can use your own one so let me sh show you where they are. So let me first clear the screen in the root of this kit just to ls-ltr. So you see that this is the resources directory here. And if I do ls-ltr, there are few of the demo speakers or you could put your own files here if you like. Now let me show you how to use it. Let's launch our Python interpreter and then I will show you how to use it. And by the way, you can use same commands in any Linux flavor. I will also put these commands in my blog and I will drop the link in video's description. Don't worry about the commands here. So let's import a few of the libraries first. Like OS and Torch. That is done. And now let's uh, import the open voice ones. And you can ignore this warning for now. And then also import the tone color converter. Let's also get the converter from checkpoint v2, which are more aggressive. That is done. And now let's set our device. If you are not using a GPU, then it will revert to CPU, but I'm using GPU here. Let's give it our output directory. I think I created it, but let's check it out. And then we need to convert the tone color of the voice let's run it should not take too long so you can see that it has downloaded it the pk11 and just took a second and then we can simply load the checkpoint here checkpoint is loaded and now let's make the directories and that is also done 
and now let's specify our reference speaker which i just showed you in that directory that is done and now let's extract the tone color embedding for the target speaker the source tone color embeddings can be directly loaded from the scs folder from the checkpoint v2 which i just showed you and let me run it And you can see that now it is downloading the model which is just around 1.53 gig let's wait for it to download model is loaded now and now let's try out it with mellow um, dot api and i told you what mellow is so let's wait for it to load it takes a bit of a time shouldn't take too long now And now let's try it out with a different text so here you can see i'm specifying the text in english spanish and japanese and few other languages and you can run um, the model in it so maybe just let's first give it a wave file this is our uh, target file we can also adjust the speed like this and then let's put it in a loop and then iterate through this text array and then we are going to run it so there you go so model is running on the text so let's wait for it to finish and if you look at the code all it is doing it is just looping through that text array and converting it out so let's wait for it to finish there you go the first one it has been split into sentences model is loaded for that one the checkpoints i mean it is converting it And it is going to take a bit of a time. You see the, how quick the conversion is. It is really instant. So once that is done, I'm going to play it, uh, play the voices. And I believe this is now doing the Japanese one. It got finished and exited, and you can see that it now in the output directory we have this temp dot wave file which is the resultant file so this is how easy it is to instantly cloning your voice into all of these multiple languages and now let me play one of the voices which we have converted you see how good is that so you can just put in your own audio clip and then you can give it a text and it will instantly clone it just like this and you know how to do it locally you can now create anything you want as per your use case that's it i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to that repo and the code in video description play around with it let me know how you go if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching